You're going down. Easy. So put on your extra mean faces. I'm, I'm equally happy if I win or if Todd wins. So this is going to be a good... You're the down. outcome, either way, is wonderful. <laughs> yeah, I'm going down, is that yeah. what you said? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I don't think he's equally, equally as happy if you win. No. I consider it a personal you, failure. You, are, you have a heart of stone. And I will write my mom that she failed. You'll write your mom that she failed in if I win at Yu-Gi-Oh card guessing? In her education. Well, I mean, now we, now we have something to play for. We're playing for the Golden Dual Disc. That, uh, that this is honestly the best prize I have ever seen. <laughs> Look, at it that. is very cool. You Made out of really solid it. gold. You put your deck in it. Yeah, you can put your cards here. Yeah, it's and great. there's actually like a uh, a space you can put batteries, and then they animate the cards. He's lying to you. <laughs> Don't believe Tom's lies. <laughs> okay, now I have to ask: How much Yu-Gi-Oh experience do each of you have? I've edited one video about Yu-Gi-Oh, but only one of the decks was a Yu-Gi-Oh deck. I judged a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament once. You judged a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament? This is not fair. Yes. <laughs> you judged a Yu-Gi-Oh, so you know Yu-Gi-Oh all, everything. No, he, well, he needed a person that is there on contract. And he said, well, if you don't know what to do, just say something how it would in magic and it's usually correct. So are Yu-Gi-Oh judges generally terrible? Did anyone see through you? I was like a magic judge who was contracted to do a Yu-Gi-Oh event in Berlin. And he needed a person, but he didn't know anybody. But did anyone see through your web of lies? No. They just thought you were a Yu-Gi-Oh judge. Yeah, I mean, this is going to go you very have to difficult. know how the chain works, and the rest is kind of like, read the card, explains the card. Okay, well, we'll see. Oh, you, but, wow. <laughs> wow, okay, I, uh, I, I mean, sense an unfair fair, advantage was... here. You have judged okay. a Yu-Gi-Oh okay. tournament. That was also like You're, On your mom's honor, ago. still, you'll see. <laughs> I'll, I'll get it. All right, so we have Carl Perks going against Toralf Severin. <laughs> Um, mythic champion and Yu-Gi-Oh judge. Mythic champion <laughs> and also now learned Yu-Gi-Oh judge. Trust me, this is gonna be easy. I think that got out of proportions. <laughs> trust me, this is a fair contest. We have card market in the house to guess whether Yu-Gi-Oh cards are good or bad or absolutely medium. Wait, is it one of the ratings absolutely medium? It's good, bad, or meh? You don't have to say absolutely medium. You can say it's met if you want to, but these cards are going to be uh, trending on the good side or the bad side, but there could be uh, some, some, some medium. So what is our scale? A number, a quality, or just good or bad? Good or bad in current Yu-Gi-Oh! And whoever wins gets a uh, badge of Toros Mom's Honor. I'll design it. I'll let her sign it. You'll let her sign it. Perfect, <laughs> we've got a team. Uh, so we do the same thing in, in this room. When we do it in this room, we call it staple or stinker. So I think we understand the format, but now we're playing against each other. Right. It's time to give you the first card. I, I, th I think I will give you a little bit of an icon to start with. Is it Pot of Greed? I heard that one's pretty good. Look, look, you, you can't go into this already knowing Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Now I just feel like it's unfair the other way. What, where I came from, Raigeki was broken, right? What's Raigeki? Destroy all your opponent's creatures. All of them? Yeah. And it's it like was, a one-sided Wrath of God? Yeah, and it was reduced to, to one because it was too broken. Yeah, and that's now they good. unbanned it to four again, I think. And I think you can only have three cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! Mr. Yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! Judge. I don't, I don't, <laughs> You, you know, you know, there's now, a difference. Between, you know, there's a difference between the, the stack and the chain, right? Um, I used to. <laughs> so a chain, a chain is like a stack in Magic, right? You play a card and then you play another card and then you play another card. There's no wait. Is there an instance in Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, yes. Those cards say like during either player's turn. If it says that, it's an instant. Or if it's a quick play spell, it's an instant. Or if a trap is a trap card, it's an instant. Oh, right. I know that from the show. You know this from the show? Yeah. So it's iconic. Oh no, but there's really terrible cards on the show, like Blue Eyes, White Dragon. So this is part of a three card thing. And there's the Dragon of Ra, the Obelisk of something, and whatever the other I'm thing I'm gonna is. get crushed. <laughs> Do you even know about the Obelisk that goes with this That bird? was in the show? Oh my god, Tor Toroth, this is so unfair. I didn't know this, that you know so much about Yu-Gi-Oh. It's okay, I'll still crush him. So the Winged Dragon of Ra, it has unknown attack and defense? Okay. Uh, I okay. assume you have to <laughs> identify it somehow. All right, Dragon, tell me your secrets. If so, I remember, you have to somehow sacrifice stuff into it. So it's the Winged Dragon of Ra. It can, it's a divine beast. Does, does divine do anything about it, or is it just... It's cool. It's just a creature type. Okay, divine. Oh, wow, that's flattering. It's an effect as well. It cannot be special summoned. Requires three tributes to normal summon. Does that mean you have to sacrifice three monsters? Correct. Oh, thank you, Tolive. Cannot be normal set. The card's normal summon cannot be... 
negated? It's basically uncounterable. Ah, like Emrakul. Like Emrakul. When normal summoned, other cards and effects cannot be activated. So Lenvala? Wow. So far, it's, it's got a good track record. <laughs> yeah. When his card is normal summoned, you can pay... Is LP just cool slang for life points? Yes. Okay. Uh, life points so that you only have no, 100 left? Uh, 100 is not a lot in Yu-Gi-Oh, right? No, you start with 8,000. <laughs> it's assumed so, the last metric you have, like one. Oh, okay. So you go to one when you play it. Well, you may. Yeah. And this card gains attack defense equal to... Ah, so it's like a death shadow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In another way. Also a Lenvana and an Emrakul. Wow. <laughs> uh, you can pay 1,000 life points, then target one monster on the field, destroy that target. Wait, how do you pay 1,000 life points if you go to 1, to 100? No, no, you can go up to 1. Ah, okay. You cannot go to minus 400 or something. Yeah, that makes sense because you would lose the game. This sucks. This is a terrible card. Well, it all depends on how easy it is to put three monsters on the field. Probably not very easy. I heard... That Yu-Gi-Oh! is, you roll the dice, and whoever won the die roll usually kind of wins because everything's a combo deck. At which point, just a big beater that destroys a monster. So let's assume you have something like Nakamura in Yu-Gi-Oh! right? That you to put some random things onto the field for effects. James, can I ask you how easy it is to get three <laughs> monsters on the board? It is the most trivially easy thing to do in Yu-Gi-Oh! I take everything back. <laughs> I, regret, I regret my former statement. That was a joke, right? No, 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 I'm not joking. Ah, it, it is trivial? You can put 20 monsters in play in a single turn. 20? So you have like a spell that gives you three monsters, and then... So let's say I start my game, I play this spell card, give yeah. me three O one hundreds, and then I can already play it because I haven't summoned the monster. And you can attack on the first turn in Yu-Gi-Oh, right? So if I spark no, no, someone... You no, no, you cannot attack on the first turn. If you go second, yes. If you go second, Yeah, yes. so my opponent does, a sh does something, and then I sparks them, and I put this on the board and attack them for a billion, and I win, right? So other question. When it says normal summoned, other cards cannot have effects or activated. Can it be destroyed somehow? Um, it can't be destroyed upon the summon of this, but after you summon this, it can be destroyed technically. When normal summoned, other cards cannot be activated. I'm going to say ah, this, this now. This is not a permanent effect. Yu-Gi-Oh cards have too much text. <laughs> you you say this now after you had to squint and blow up the card. <laughs> and we blew up the card on a TV. <laughs> it's on a TV, and we still needed to blow it up. The card I'm going to say TV. this is not very good right now. Other cards and effects cannot be activated. Is that a one-time effect, or it's just basically as long as this is on the field, nothing can be activated? Um, it only like on the summon of the card. So there's there's cards that that are like bottomless trap hole. It says when a monster is summoned with fifteen hundred or more attack banish the monster, like uh, exile the monster, and things like that. So you okay. just can't use any of those cards to stop the summon. And also there are cards that says, that like Solemn Warning, that says when your opponent would, would summon a monster, negate the summon of the monster, like a counterspell, and you just can't do that when you summon this. So here's my, my thinking. Yes. I think that card is basically just... I wouldn't say Raigeki, but then I remember Raigeki is bad. It's bad now. I don't know. So it seems to me that for a trivially low cost, you can either pay a bunch of life and have a massive beater that can't be countered, or you can just snipe a bunch of their monsters. Yeah, I think your goal is actually to just either play it as 100-100 and just say all your things die, mm -hmm. or at least the most relevant thing. Oh, I have a different question that might be important. Or to make it like a D, like medium-sized creature that actually deals damage, but you still have something left. I feel like it's probably quite good. It, the pay life, does it happen at any time? Can you do it in your opponent's turn? Uh, you cannot do it during the opponent's turn. Yu-Gi-Oh is so weird. I still say it's good. I'm a, I go staple. This is not a meh. This is a... Yeah, I yeah. agree. I agree. You agree? Yeah, well, agree. we go down together. Or we both succeed together. So, the one Jane, what's the, what's the T on the Winged Dragon of Ra? The verdict is, the Winged Dragon of Ra is unplayable. Oh. Unplayable? Would you, why? Why? <laughs> why? why? I, I feel like we got everything right. It's you so, were okay. on, yeah, you were on the right track with one thing you were saying, and it was... Can you just kill this? And the yeah. answer is yes. If you have, if you, easy. it is trivially easy to sacrifice three creatures to play this, but it isn't no investment. It's kind of an investment. 
So you summon this, and you only get one normal summon per turn. So that means you can't use your normal summon for turn on any of the rest of your what your deck is supposed to be doing, because it's and and because it's like a lot of combos and stuff. And the Wing Dragon of Raw isn't necessarily a card that's going to go in your combo. It's a card that you just have to draw in your opening hand. Mm. But it kills all our board. But I guess if Regeki's bad, this is bad. Are, are monsters bad in Yu-Gi-Oh? Or are they really good? They are very, like very ma- good. Okay. Like in Magic, if you ask someone 25 years ago, the monsters, the creatures are terrible. But now the creatures are Questing Beast or Ragavan. <laughs> exactly. So I didn't know if... Well, th- right, well, this well, does have a lot of text, and you you would think this does a lot of stuff. It can't be it can't be negated. It can't be countered. You can kill their whole board if you want to. You can attack them to death if you want to. But the moral of the story is, when you summon this, sure, nothing can be activated on the summon of this. But then after it's summoned, they'll just remove this. So it dies to Doomblade, basically. It dies, dies to, to Doomblade. Doomblade. Yep. Ah, uh, sorry, uh, Wing Dragon of Ra. You both have zero points. If I'm even with a Yu-Gi-Oh judge. <laughs> Life is good. I think we should just start Yu Gi Oh and make that card good and then complain. Oh, yeah. Let's win like a world championship or something yeah, with yeah, this card. Like, and what then do you mean? We'll be like, haha, the one gen. <laughs> We're great. We want to Yu Gi Oh. It's easy. Yeah, we can do that. First of all, I would like to say this one, a far more manageable amount of text. But why is it so small then? Look at all that <laughs> empty space. This is beyond me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you, you prevent old people from playing because they all have to squint, squint and they can't see. Well, yeah, th- so I heard the thing, the joke is, oh, Yu-Gi-Oh players don't read, and I don't blame them because this text <laughs> is tiny. When an opponent's monster declares a direct attack, shuffle all of your opponent's attack position monsters into the deck. That sounds amazing. Yeah, I would say, like, I don't this is a This, this is, is, is set all the wreckage f- for free. Yeah. James. I'm sorry, but either you're really good at picking them, or this is a silly one, because this is clearly very strong. So... Um, oh, but monsters don't attack at the same time, right? Oh, it's attack position. Wow. How easy is it to switch? You cannot switch into a defense or attack. Like, if you switch, you don't attack. You cannot just go back and forth, right? Correct. So, I guess, yeah. So if I have a monster, let's say I have two monsters in attack position. I could choose to make one defensive and then attack to check if this is the trap. But even then, you didn't just destroy a creature. Yeah, I feel like you want to be winning, and the way you win is by attacking. And if you attack into this, you just lose everything. And the art is kind of okay. <laughs> kind of okay. What is it? I was about to say kind of cool, but that was too high of an endorsement like for an laser orb. on an eyeball. It's a laser <laughs> orb. Wait, wait, that's not no, an orb. It's shooting. That is, that is an it's Earth. It's shooting. Yeah, that yeah. is... A planet yeah, that's been blown up. This card has to be good. It's blowing up a planet. Also, it says first edition. So, that's, so this is say first edition. A, it's basically so a, a balance. So showing us, like, an alpha card. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, look at Ancestral and, Recall. And spells, is this any good? Is yes, it's This broken. is Ancestral Recall. This is great. This doesn't draw cards, that's, though. <laughs> oh, oh, it's Lightning Bolt. It's great. No, it <laughs> it's Lightning Bolt. Bolt. <clears throat> it's one mana Wrath of God. I don't know. I assume... This is going to be a staple. I assume this is a really powerful card that's limited. Okay, it's my final answer. It's great. Broken. You both say it's broken. Yeah. This Crystal card smart. is also unplayable. We're not smart. <laughs> 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 How is this card unplayable? Maybe every other person who plays Yu-Gi-Oh is not smart. Yeah, maybe if we started playing Yu-Gi-Oh, we just break it. Yeah. We'd play the bird thing, we'd play Drown Mirror Force. I think this is what happened, right? They, the people see a new set comes out, or any set comes out in early first edition, and they look at the cards like, what, this is not 12 lines of text? It must be bad. Why is this bad? In what circumstances is this unplayable? Um, okay, uh, these types of trap cards are called battle traps, obviously, because when your opponent battles, you can use them. Um, and there's a lot of these. There's Drowning Mirror Force, there's regular, there's Mirror Force, there's Quaking Mirror Force, just a bunch of different kinds of these that do a, something slightly different. This one returns the deck. Some of them flip all your opponent's monsters face down. Some of them just destroy all your monsters. There's Storming Mirror Force that returns all the cards back to the hand instead of shuffling them to the deck like this. But the problem with these cards is that your opponent says, okay, you have a set, you have a set card in your, uh, in your set spell and trap zone. While they're doing their play, there's a lot of cards that they can have that can just destroy a card on the field. And you have no chance to interact with your opponent if you have this and they say, I'll destroy that face down card. 
and you say, mm. okay, I guess my Drowning Mirror Force is destroyed, and then they attack you for game anyways. So everything in Yu-Gi-Oh dies to Doomblade. Yeah. Or apparently everything that's not good in Yu-Gi-Oh dies okay, to Doomblade. We have to learn that having something that doesn't do anything is very bad. Yeah, okay. We've learned our lesson. Yes, it does not do let's, anything. Let's see that. Until, see the third unless one. So your opponent says, you know what, I think I'll attack you for a game anyways, through your mystery face-down card. And then you say, like yu gi Moto himself, you've fallen into my trap, and then you play this. But that never actually that's happens. That's very cool, I'd want to say that. But... Okay, is there like open decks and stuff? Because if everybody assumes that card is bad, nobody assumes the card is played, so that card becomes great. Yeah, exactly. They, they don't. They no, but they'll still destroy it, right? So I feel the the fact, the fact that it shuffles into your library feels really good because in, in Yu Gi Oh your graveyard is your second hand. Mm -hmm. I've heard. True. Uh, so it it feels so good, but I guess it. But in Yu Gi Oh, also your uh, deck is your third hand. So. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, so oh for two. Uh, at least we we hopefully have to get a one. I mean, we chose the right game. I hope. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Next one. All right, draw and lock bird. Oh, it's it's a bird and a dude. Also, if we just always say it's broken, he won't put five bad cards. In. Yeah. So if we always oh say it's broken, we're bound to have some. It's the strategy. Broken. I say it right away. Broken. Oh no! Oh, so it's, it's another zero zero. It's one star, so it's easy to play, right? But it's zero zero. It's a spellcaster, and if a card is added from the main deck to your opponent's hand, except during the draw phase... Oh, so if they draw at any point, right? Except uh, there's there's, uh, yeah, like there's a draw phase, the green. standby phase, the main phase one, battle phase, main phase two, and end phase. So if you draw yeah, a card or add a card from your deck to your hand in your draw phase, which you can do, this won't work. But if they, like, tutor something... If they tutor something in their draw phase, this will not work. Why would they do that? That seems like a weird moment to, unless they're playing around this card, because it's maybe very popular. Yeah, yeah. Do you know, it's a quick effect. You can send this card from your hand to the graveyard, so you discard it. For the rest of this turn. For the rest of this turn, cards cannot be added from either player's main deck to the hand. Wow. So if they tutor, and you're like, ha no more, you play this card, they just can't tutor for the rest of the turn, they can't combo off. Is that correct? But they already tutored once. Yeah, but once is maybe not enough in Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, know. so the, the the timing of this card is my opponent adds a card to their hand. If they add a card to their hand. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Some, okay. do, doing a spell or whatever, that is not a draw phase. At this exact point, I have to choose to discard it from my hand. To discard this. Without knowing if they ever want to get the second card anyway. Yeah, but it's Yu-Gi-Oh. They're probably doing it like seven more times, I assume. I've never watched an actual game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Right. But I just discard a card and then they say like, okay, your turn, I'll do it next turn. But it's Yu-Gi-Oh, they don't do that. You because have to win in like one or two turns. Because you don't have a next turn. Uh, is, is that true? So I've heard this a billion times, but I've never actually verified it. So the one you may tell us, do you actually, do games of Yu-Gi-Oh actually just last like two turns? On average, I would say that a game of Yu-Gi-Oh lasts two and a half to three turns. Wow. It's like they don't like playing Yu-Gi-Oh, so they make sure to do it as fast as possible. <laughs> yeah. Two or three turns, that's insane. I assume that in that case, if, if it's like 33% of their turns that you're preventing them from tutoring or drawing... And also it says cannot add to either player's main deck to a hand. It's like, yeah, you also hose yourself. You cannot... But for their turn. <laughs> yeah, I say this I'm... is a staple. I say this is great. So also, okay, let's say, is there a card that says like, uh, draw three? And then they draw one, and then you could discard it. Oh, no, no, I don't think no. Can... it doesn't work like that. If also, a, if a card I don't think there's a card in Yu-Gi-Oh that's draw three. If a, well, Pot of Greed, which is draw two, has been banned since forever ago. They're not going to print one that says draw three. But if they I did, they draw if, if they did is... you can't interrupt the draw three unless it's draw one. But isn't there like Graceful Charity or something? Yeah, they would, if, you, if they I'm played Graceful me. Charity, they would draw three, then discard two. And then on the resolution of that card, after it resolves, that's the window to drop the draw and lock bird. So you would you would not stop any of the draws if it. I say this is a great card to stop combos. It's like fog. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with that because it sounds like you only have so much you can throw at your opponent in their opponent's turn, especially when they started or something. So you just take whatever you can, no matter how bad it is. Oh, you can even do this during their first turn. Yeah, this seems awesome. You Can, can you play this during your first turn? If you have this in your hand and your opponent goes first, you can play this. I feel like that's pretty good. 
Sure. Yeah, why not? You're not supposed to pick the same things as me. I should not influence you. Well, we should let, do this in separate rooms. Let me talk first. <laughs> no, I love talking so much. Uh -huh. uh, I say it's great. I say it's great. I feel like you're influencing well, each other too it, much. I don't say it's great. I think it's necessary. You think it's meh? No, I think it's the medium bar of okay. The, but, me, the medium bar but of people, okay? But it's, I would say it's heavily played, but it's okay. Like what would be the magic analog to that? Like mental misstep, that was like <laughs> only uh, played misstep, because it's that really, what we have. Because they didn't have anything else. Well, it's banned because it's like cancel. Is that what you mean? Nobody plays cancel. But it, when it, it wasn't standard, sometimes Dissipate. it's like force of will. So, like, force of will is a pretty strong magic. Yeah, card. but if your opponent's deck wouldn't be broken, then you wouldn't ah, need force of will. So this is only necessary. This would not be a normal good effect. But because Yu-Gi-Oh does such broken things, we need to play this. This yeah. is a hero. We need. Not really the one we deserve. Exactly. Okay, that's it. It's the hero we need. Stay I back. could not have explained that better than Toral just said. <laughs> it is literally exactly what he said. Oh my god. It is the you necessary go evil that we that we need. <laughs> that was crazy. Uh, Alright, well now we're still I tied. couldn't have explained that better. Well done. Wow. It's like you've played it's like you've judged before. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I mean, it yeah, reads like, so if, 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 if this was, um, let's say, like eight to ten years ago, when Yu-Gi-Oh was a much slower game, this card mm. would be unplayably bad. But because mm. Yu-Gi-Oh is broken, this card's broken. Royal oppression. I feel like if this card was good, there would be a joke around that. It's a trap <laughs> card with an infinity symbol. Why does it have an infinity symbol? It is an, a continuous trap card. So when you flip this, it stays in the battlefield, kind of like an enchantment or an artifact. Ah. Either player can pick... So you you choose to flip a trap. It doesn't flip on its own, right? You choose to flip it. You yep. just go like, you've activated my trap card. and then Exactly like that. All right. You have to do it that way. The motion is... Yes, yeah, so or, or, else, or else it, or else it gets negated list. immediately. Either player can pay 800 life points... To negate the special summon of a monster, enter an effect that special summons a monster and destroy those cards. So you counter. Wait, each player can pay. So both of you have eight hundred life. Counter a target spell. <laughs> uh, this is so bad. You think the card is bad? So here's my <laughs> thinking. So first, I thought it's obviously bad because it's a. Trap that lays on the board that your opponent can just destroy like we had before. Mm -hmm. right. But you can counter it or destroy. No, only the summon of a monster. Ah. Only this. Oh, but it's like stasis. Yeah. No, it's more like um, Abyss. Yeah, like the Abyss. But yeah. if, you pl if you play around this card... Yeah, but he said with the trap card that you can just destroy it and then that's why it's bad because mm -hmm. people can just destroy it. So if they know this is there... Before summoning this monster, they can also just destroy it. There's nothing else, right? So why don't they just destroy this first? So then? before the issue was they would, you wouldn't be able to activate it. Oh, but in this case, you could still kill it before summoning monster. But maybe they'll think that this is the other card, and they'll be <laughs> yeah, like, ah, then defense position, and then you're like, ha ha. But you. then it's still destroyed. My my problem is the card reads so bad that I think it's good. Uh, yeah, that's my impression as well. Is that James picked this one as like a trap? Right? It's either it looks like, he's expecting we look at it and think it's terrible. Yeah. If not, he would have not shown us such a bad-looking card. Also, either player, like, this is... Oh, but yeah. you play all your monsters and then you put this. Yeah, yeah, obviously, but I'm I just going to say this bad. You're going to say it's bad? Yeah. We're finally not going to agree on one. And, so far, I said all of them were broken, and I was right once. James, tell us, is this card good or bad? Toroth, your one. final answer is... Bad. Then, Carl, your final answer is? It's great. It's going to get me this dual disc. The final answer is this card is banned. It is Ooh! broken. Well, to be fair, then it's really bad to play it. <laughs> because oh, well, you yeah, because you get kicked out of the tournament. Yes. So, like, completely so I was you right. Mean. No, you are not. You are not. Yeah, if, you play, this, if, if you play this, you'll get deck checked and get disqualified. Yeah, you shouldn't do it. So you shouldn't put it's it. It's a great card. It's so, a staple. So answer me the question then: Why don't your opponents just destroy this then? 
Because a lot of the cards that destroy other cards are cards that you need to special summon. Uh -huh. I don't understand. So it destroys the ca counters. So the, the counters. The special summons themselves. So the reason why this is good is it's a card that says counter target Doomblade. Yes, exactly. So the problem before was that everything was Doombladeable, but this one is like, haha, I counter the Doomblade. So the major majority of things that destroy stuff are monsters themselves. Yes, the majority of things that, that destroy things are cards that in the in the extra deck. I didn't want to confuse you too much with extra deck cards because I would have to go into a lot more. It would be, take a lot more time. But there are combos and everything, and, and decks are designed to be able to make a lot of special summons in order to make in order to make a bigger boss monster summons that do a lot of really good things, like destroy stuff and negate stuff and everything. And if you can just stop those cards from entering the battlefield, then they can't destroy this. Yeah, okay, so Stable. with the fact that everything is a creature that you prevent to be a creature, I guess that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. But and a lot, a, lot, a lot of the cards like Mystical Space Typhoon that you would need to destroy this without having to special summon are not cards that you can easily search from your deck. But that would be like any spell or so, right? Any spell can destroy this like Mystical Space Typhoon, but those cards are not as easily searchable from your deck as, okay. as well as creatures are. All right. Well, you're one ahead. This card is oppressive. Last chance. <laughs> it, it, it honestly is oppressive. Insect. Effect. Wow, great. There's not a lot of text on it. Wonderful. If this card battled... Oh, that's cool. At the end of the damage step, your opponent draws one card. What? Um, so, if you attack with this, or your opponent attacks it, at the end of the damage step, they just draw a card. And what's the upside? 2400 attack. Is that a lot? What? What's a... So, the one. What's 2400 attack in magic terms, if you had to convert it? 2400 converted into magic terms is like having a creature with 5 power. This card's bad. I think it's good for a lot of very valid reasons that have not anything to do with needing to have a different answer than you. Oh, very, very <laughs> good. <laughs> very good. Um, so, I just assumed that a big beater is not that. So I, I know or I remember that there are easily like Two thousands that you get for four stars without having any negative thing, right? Like, so this one is like draft chat. So now the name is very cool. So now I assume either if it's good, I don't know if it's good, but if it's good, it's either because defense zero somehow makes something really good work, like for example, summon monsters up to five hundred defense from your deck, and then all of a sudden you have like four mm -hmm. of these, or you actually somehow do want your opponent to draw a card, which, like... That's, that feels risky. If you attack a billion times, they take a billion times 2,400 life. In Magic, they printed a card called Gigantosaurus. Yeah. It's 5 mana, 10-10. What? 5 mana, 10-10? That's insane. And no one played it because it doesn't have Trombull. It's just, it dies to Doomblade. I think this dies to Doomblade, but also your opponent drew a card before. So <laughs> I would say, I would say, no bueno. This is a long shot. <laughs> okay. okay, I admire your courage, Talaf. Let's find out if I win this dualisk. Okay, you got it, you got it. This card is awful. Okay, because, I mean... Yeah, get, get, if, if, yeah if, if, you, we, we have a winner, Carl Perks. This is you, me playing you, off you, of you, your You're playing off of your dual disc. Congratulations. Yeah, Wait, you've done one more thing than win the dual disc. You have yeah. overthrown the Yu-Gi-Oh judge. Yes, I have. Wow. For no other reason than content. He did not pick that as a as a good card for content. No, no, no. So today is a good day. I got a golden du dual disc. I proved that I was better at Yu-Gi-Oh guessing than a Yu-Gi-Oh judge. Wow. Okay, we now we have Carl Perks as the Yu-Gi-Oh master title TM. Three to one, destroying Toroth. I can just see that written all over the newspapers now. I mean, oh, it's just... And even the cards that we got wrong, we're definitely going to go, because we're Yu-Gi-Oh! Masters now, we're going to go to a Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament, it we're going to break right. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we're just going to... We're going to make them staples, so the next time, in your comment section, from people that are watching the videos in the future, we'll be like, why did you say it's a, sta it's a stinker? Carl and Toroth broke it in Yu-Gi-Oh! This card is a great card. Ha, huh, you'll see. And, speaking of comments, um, if you're watching this, and this is not our channel, but this is the one James channel, 
uh, please, if you are very kind to him, we enjoyed this, uh, there's a subscribe button and it helps him grow. It helps small content creators grow. Just click there and leave a comment. Tell him that uh, the cards are actually good. Who knows? What would you do with your golden dual disc? Yes, I can't wait to see you break the format with a 15 Mirror Force deck. It'll be great. Can you do that? Can you put 15 Mirror Force? And they never guess which one. <laughs> they'll, they'll never know which one will work the format. <laughs> but they were all they, Mirror Force. <laughs>